Hey guys, um, Lawdoc Studios here, and today I'm gonna go over the tab target template, which is going to be on the Lawdoc Studios Marketplace, Unreal Engine, well, the Unreal Engine Marketplace under Lawdoc Studios. Um, first thing I'm going to, well, it should be pretty obvious here, but the entirety of the um, Polycube Volume 1 asset pack is included in the tab target template. Um, the assets are utilized to make use of how easy it is, or should I say display how easy it is to use the tab target template and the interaction component. Um, so if we go to the blueprint section here, uh, you'll see that there is a game mode that's going to be set up with all of the game mode settings that you're going to need in order to utilize the temp template. You'll see there's a BPC interaction component. Um, you'll see there's a tutorial. Um, and we can just kind of uh, go over this component and how you utilize it. So um, essentially the component is drag and drop with anything in the world outliner so you don't have to create a blueprint class and then include the imp uh, component but you can do that if you want to but essentially if you've laid out your um, level and you're like I want people to be able to tab target or target something you can just highlight that object um, go into the details panel and drag the component onto that object, um, which then you now have the default settings here. Um, this obviously is not a barrel, but the way this works is the info is what gets fed into the widget that is generated by the component. Um, and the color is the outline color of the mouse hover function. Um, and then can target is going to specify whether or not when you press the tab key within a certain distance of the object, if it auto targets that object. Um, so we'll click this checkbox. We'll just pick a color. This is an orange color. So I want something that's going to stand out against that. So we'll go with blue, uh, a light blue color. Um, and I'll just say this is a blue bottle for outlined and we'll hit play um, as you can see the tutorial actor is actually giving you instructions um, the template comes with kind of your traditional mouse well it's a custom mouse cursor so there's an example of how to set that up for yourself um, and then you hold right click to control the camera um, and the WD WASD keys is how you move around. Um, there is all um, angles of movement in this um, animation example here for this character. So I did set up a, a blend space to support that. You do have enhanced input system set up as well. So you have that context um, with sprint, jump, and your normal expected movement here. Um, these items have the component on them, so when you hover them, the outline is specified by the color on the component that you've set. The text is specified by the info. Um, it generates the widget. You can left click to target an item and click off of it, or you can tab target through items when you're within the vicinity, and it will auto increment the index and then untarget when you walk far enough away. Um, so we can go over to this bottle over here and as you can see I can target it um, and I can also hover over it um, and that's pretty much it as far as like understanding how to use the targeting component um, all of your controls are here so I did do a widget example of how to set this up you know just as an info and feed it into the HUD class and I also included this tutorial typing text type actor uh, with a function to show how to do this kind of dynamic um, tutorial sequence. Um, and I used it just to kind of explain what's here. 
Uh, as always, you can uh, click this info here and reach out to the Wild Dog Studios Discord for support. Um, happy developing, guys. Toodles.